She spent hours scrolling through online forums and YouTube videos, unearthing tales of forgotten shows and unresolved storylines. She spent hours scrolling through online forums and YouTube videos, unearthing tales of forgotten shows and unresolved storylines. One evening, while rummaging through her late grandfather's attic, she uncovered a dusty old box filled with VHS tapes, all labeled in her grandfather's handwriting. Saturn's Secrets, read one label. Intrigued, Sarah took the tapes to her room. The show had been aired in the late 90s, a supernatural series about a group of friends who dealt with haunted artifacts. It had garnered a cult following thanks to its eerie atmosphere and unresolved mysteries. However, the final season had mysteriously vanished from television, rumored to contain several unaired episodes. As she settled in for a late-night viewing, she popped the first tape into her ancient VCR. The familiar theme song echoed through her dimly lit room, and nostalgia washed over her. But as the episode progressed, Sarah noticed peculiar changes. The settings felt more claustrophobic, the characters' faces paled with dread, and unsettling shadows seemed to fill the corners of the screen. An odd feeling crept into Sarah's spine. Maybe this is just a fan edit, she mumbled to herself, though her pulse quickened. Curiosity pushed her to continue watching as the screen flickered and the show's ambience turned darker, introducing a sensation of foreboding. One character, Amy, began chanting an incantation over a cursed mirror. Suddenly, the screen glitched violently, and the audio distorted into ominous whispers. Sarah leaned closer, heart racing. In that split second, she felt as though the whispers were directed at her, carrying a warning. The episode abruptly ended. After a moment of uncertainty, she rewound it and pressed play again, only to find the tape stuck at the same moment, trapped in a loop of Amy's chant. Shaking her head, Sarah ejected the tape and felt a chill invade her room. It was late, too late to call anyone. Deciding to take a breather, she wandered downstairs to make some hot cocoa, convincing herself it was just an old recording. The atmosphere morphed eerily as if the house was holding its breath. Shadows danced along the walls, each flickering light causing her to jump. She tried to shake off the feeling and returned to her room. With the lights dimmed, she selected the next episode on the stack. The opening credits rolled, but this time, instead of the usual theme, a distorted melody played, a high-pitched lullaby that bounced around the room, evoking a sense of dread. Sensing something was wrong, Sarah felt compelled to turn it off, but it was as though the tape had a grip on her. It showed her visions of the cast trapped in anguished expressions, eyes pleading for help. What began as a mere TV show was spiraling into something sinister. After watching an unknowable time longer, Sarah shut her eyes tightly when she saw Amy standing on screen, her haunted eyes locking onto Sarah's. The character whispered, help us, the words dripping with desperation. You have to finish what we started. Suddenly, everything grew cold around her, and the TV screen flashed ominously, jumping to black. With a racing heart, Sarah ejected the tape, but a new one seemed to have appeared in the stack. It shimmered slightly, the label inscribed with a peculiar title, surrounded by shadows. A wave of trepidation washed over her. She wanted to resist, to leave it be, but something compelled her to place it into the VCR. The stories twisted, revealing a hidden plotline, a malevolent spirit had trapped the characters inside a cursed mirror, feeding off their fear and pain. The only way to set them free was if someone who viewed the episodes completed the incantation Amy had begun. The realization crashed over her like a wave, she had unwittingly summoned something dark and hungry. Settling for despair is a choice. The words echoed, now firmly embedded in her psyche. Her grandfather had warned her about this show, claiming it was inspired by a local legend. No one had dared to watch the final episodes for fear that they would draw the haunting tales into their real lives. As she attempted to shut the tape off, the room filled with the same oppressive whispers from before, and the very walls seemed to throb with evil. Shadows elongated and swarmed, merging with phantoms of characters she had come to see as friends. They appeared in her room, intangible but writhing with energy, eyes full of suffering. Overcome with horror yet propelled by an uncontrollable urge, Sarah could only utter the incantation. The rift opened wide, and a gust of air surged through the room, sending her sprawling as it howled for release. A piercing scream rang out, 
a chorus of voices blending as the shadows merged with the darkness around her. Then, silence. Sarah lay breathless on her bedroom floor. As the sun's early rays crept in, she stood tentatively, glancing around her once familiar room now doused in sunlight. The TV was off, and the tapes lay scattered, as if the ordeal had never happened. Yet, as Sarah stepped outside, the town felt different. The air was thick, and familiar faces of friends and family now wore strange, hollow looks. She felt as though she didn't belong in her own life. The weight of the screen behind her loomed large, whispering secrets she couldn't escape. Only one final episode remains, it seemed to say, and you are part of the show now. Quote, the shadows in her mind were no longer contained within the television set. As they engulfed her life, Sarah realized the true horror of the lost episodes, they were never really lost. They had been lurking, waiting for someone to press play. 